Hello everyone, I am Rohit. Welcome to EAT Everything About Technology. Today I am going to show you how to install Windows Subsystem for Android with Play Store. So without wasting any further time, let's head to our computer screen. To make Windows Subsystem work, do some settings in your PC before installing. Go to the start menu and search for turn Windows feature on or off. Here you will see the window. Enable Hyper-V virtual machine platform windows hypervisor platform so these are the options you need to check and click on ok it will take some time and the feature will be enabled after the reboot it will also ask you to reboot to your pc after the reboot is completed now let's download the wsa zip file from the github website just search wsa github and on the first website click on this by scrolling down you will find Windows 11, Windows 10 and some links of the stable builds and pre-release builds. So I will go with this stable build Windows 11 x 64. Here is the another page. We have to scroll down almost to the end where we will find some download link. There are multiple versions of it. We will go with this one G apps with no Amazon app store. So I will click on this. It will instantly start downloading this here as you can see it is downloading the downloading is completed let's navigate to the download folder here extract it after the extraction is completed i would recommend you to move this folder to c drive so after moving the folder to the c drive root directory just open it you will find the file run double click on run this process will start automatically within few minutes as you can see it is installed and it is asking me continue here i will click on any key it will close give the permissions it will take some time to open it is the first start so as you can see it is the play store app and it is opened like a windows app so let me just sign in the login is complete reopen it just search play store in the start menu as you can see the play store is working on this windows 11 pc isn't it amazing you will have endless library of applications now let us do some settings so let's go to the start menu and search for windows subsystem windows subsystem for android first let me show you the file section by clicking on this icon you can open the files app of this android system there are multiple folders there is also a windows folder here it is right now empty i will tell you what is it and what is the use of it now let's go to the app section there are the app list from here you can open a particular app like this and you can also uninstall it from here another option is advance of now here you can access the android settings as well so it is there by just enabling developer mode or developer option you just need to click on manage developer setting it will open this page so now from here you can access all the settings apps you can access like this if we go to about section about device here you can see it is based on android 13 here is the easter egg and last security update is of 1st September 2023. Now let's talk about another settings. So here there are some tweaks we need to do. So as per your preference, as per your system performance, you can choose from these memory and performance. So if we go with this option as needed, so by this option, the subsystem will not automatically start. It will not uh, consume your RAM. So whenever you open an Android app, then it only open the subsystem. And as soon as you close the app, the subsystem will close. And the second option is for it will use your minimum RAM. App will open very fast, not very fast. The last system says the subsystem will always run in the background and it will consume your RAM also. So you can also set the memory allocation as per your system preference you can go as low as 2 gb and here by default it is set to 6 gb and i have 16 gb installed in my system so i am preferring to go with 6 gb as there is no uh, many apps are installed in this pc so i am going with the continuous and default 6 gb of ram users next you can see that there are option for high performance power saving and specific gpu so if you're using a desktop PC, you can go with the high performance always. Or if you're having a laptop, so you can go with the power saving options. Another last option is experimental feature. So here, if 
if your app any app that is dependent on the network if it is not working it is not able to access your internet so this option will help you it might work by enabling this option and last option is very important this is the share folder so this is the same folder which is going to be used by subsystem of your pc okay so let me change this option let me change the directory of this folder i want the android subsystem to utilize my files of this folder now i have set my custom folder here so whenever i will go to the files app it will detect that same folder but first turn it off turn the subsystem off it will going to restart and just set that folder into its directory so let me just turn it off and close all the apps all the apps are closed and just turn off it and then we will check file apps now it is turned off let's again click on files app it will again reboot the subsystem now the files app is open let's head over to windows folder as you can see the folder is here and all the files in that folder is showing here okay now we have all the apk files here in this folder and let me tell you from here you can also install these apks directly you no need to site load the apk from any other application or any other source the only thing you need to once you set the share folder in that folder you can just copy the apk files in that folder only and by accessing the files app you can install the app let's install beach buggy blitz it is also an interesting game racing game i like this one let's see it work or not i think it should work uh, some notification from the play store app is not uh, coming here because i have not enabled the notification after the installation so let me change the setting we just need to go to windows subsystem android and go to the setting play store app settings and here from here you need to enable notifications now we will see some notifications okay it's working let me install another app any app let's uh, install google gemini yes it is giving us some notifications here now let's open this also it is working let's play the game first now let's see if the key mapping is working okay asking for tilt or touch let's click on touch as it is a as we are using keyboard I think the keyboard is working fine with this game. Now I have all the Android games. Not all this. This is my one of my favorite games. Now I'm playing this on my PC. The Android app on your on my computer. I know there is the Windows version of this application, but that application consumes a lot of hard disk space. That Windows application. This application doesn't consume much hard disk space. How can I Okay, you need to use your mouse also. to play this working very smoothly nice okay it's working fine google gemini is also working isn't it amazing the, the notification whatever the notification is coming that is directly showing in your notification area that's that's sounds interesting and working fine this is how we can download and install wsa with google play store and enjoy thousands of android apps and games on our windows 11 pc i hope you like the video Please subscribe to my channel EAT everything about technology till then stay blessed stay safe jai hind namaste thank you